those are pretty good shells to have. They are, they are all right. That, the Bowman fuse will probably come out pretty good on that one. Tom, how many of these shells you be fused? Oh, gosh, I've fused maybe 50 or 60 shells. This is a 100-pound of Federal Navy shingle projectile, which I think we can diffuse without blowing everybody into the next world. And I had a fr friend in Richmond who uh, uh, drilled a shell out, and he broke through, and uh, he soaked it for four days. And uh, then he inserted it back in the drill press to go into the little tin cylinder inside the projectile where the powder was. And the first turn of the drill, it blew up. And uh, Sam was holding the projectile in his left hand. It blew off these three fingers and uh, blew a fragment through his chest and missed his heart and blew the fuse into his son's chest, uh, who was standing on the other side of the drill press. But they both survived. But uh, Sam has sort of gotten gotten out of the relic business. I write him and he doesn't even answer my letters anymore. <laughs> As we go into it here what a little bit. What would happen if that blew up? <laughs> well... Can I leave while we... <laughs> Jesus! This, uh... Wait a minute. I don't think we'd know anything about it. <laughs> Bye! John. See you later. Keep asking questions, Chris. <laughs> Sounds odd. You won't mind. Step on the other side of the right, now I'm into the powder chamber. Uh -huh. So you see that uh, everything... Uh, where's everybody all of a sudden? <laughs> but see, we had nothing to worry about at all in this one. See, this goes all the way in. This way, all the way into the powder chamber, and it's all... All we got to do is fill it up with water and we're perfectly safe now. Nobody has to worry well, about this one anymore. <laughs> so, we what? safe now? Oh yeah, we safe. Y'all oh. can come back. <laughs> I never saw... I never saw anybody get it. I never like saw cameramen right? evaporate so fast. <laughs> but um, all I'm doing well, why now... Why don't we fill it up with water before we do this, uh, Tom? Well, um... It seems to be... <laughs> I've never been so scared, Mike. Sort of wet. Now, let's see. We'll get some of the powder to come out of it here in a minute. We put a little water in here to dampen it down a little bit. And uh, now, if it, this were a percussion fuse, I wouldn't think about going into it. Uh, but this was... This was most likely a wooden time fuse plug. And so that gives us no problems whatsoever. Famous last word. <laughs> Is there powder in that shell? Well, I'm trying to enlarge the hole enough to find... Yeah, darn right powder's in the shell. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, see that black? That's black powder, but it's wet. And that's as good as the... Uh that's as good as it was back about a hundred years ago. Yeah, it, 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 when you dry it out, it's just as good. Now, in a few minutes, I'll show you some dry powder that we got out of a shell the same place this one came from, and we put a match to it, and we'll see what happens. The first night that I thought maybe this might be an interesting hobby for me, a boy did this for me, and he lit the side of the paper bag like this and when it when the flame got up to the uh, powder nothing happened and he started pouring the powder from the bag onto the flame and all of a sudden the whole thing caught and uh, it came right up the powder train and blew the set off the bag in his hand so and it burned all the skin off of his hand so it will go, which you'll see a in a minute as soon as this fire burns up to it. In fact, we light it on both ends here to, to be sure that it burns. And it'll start sparking before it goes, just a little bit. Now, 
white smoke. See all this white smoke? This is what happens why the artillery during the Civil War couldn't hide themselves. This black powder lets off a tremendous amount of white smoke. But you can see it really goes. I, I do worry about it some because if this house caught on fire, uh, it it could do a lot of damage around the neighborhood. You'd see you'd you'd hear the last shots fired during the Civil War. <laughs>